Ah. Howdy, my name is Larry Cherry. Uh, so today I figured I would uh, go ahead and do a little short video series about a uh, new plant I'm going to be growing. So I started growing uh, strawberries for the first time this year. So it's the very first year I've ever tried it. So I figured I'd give my experiences about how to grow strawberries in Houston, Texas. So one thing I am a uh, anticipating is the heat later on the summer so the success will be largely dependent upon how they do during the Texas heat so uh, let me let me talk a little bit about the variety I think so actually see if I can this planner so you guys can see this a little bit better but I I'm using a Mr. Stacky planner so I don't I can't uh, grow uh, grow a full garden of these as of right now for the rent at where I'm currently at but uh, this, uh, this variety is called a Cardinal Strawberry. It's a variety that is supposed to be well suited for the heat in Texas, but also it is a June bearing variety. So this is supposed to bear heavily during, a, during the time period between June and July. So that's when it's supposed to actually uh, bear heavy fruit. Now, with this variety, the, supposedly the first year of a June bearing one, you're supposed to cut off all the flowers to help it grow well and that's what i've been doing with this one i probably will let a few of those straw few of those flowers actually turn into strawberries so i can at least uh, see what the strawberries will look like for next season but since i found that out about this variety i will be growing another variety here uh, before too long so that i can actually get something this year so i'll tell you guys more about that once i get that in but to give you guys a little bit closer look at this, I figured I would explain some of the stuff about growing strawberries from bare roots, which is where I started these from. And I didn't realize like how cheap it actually could be to actually grow strawberries from bare root compared to like buying them from the store. I, I will say I was really rather surprised about how cheap and how easy it actually is. There's a few tricks to it, but um, you might be surprised about your results. So, here is one that I haven't actually transplanted yet, so I'm going to bring this a little closer to the camera here. You can see it's pretty healthy. So the trick when it comes to bare root strawberries is um, the process of what you do when you get them and um, how you plant them in the soil. So this one is actually a good example for showing what they call the crown. So from what I understand, the crown is the area between where the roots start and the uh, where you start to see the green part of the plant. So I'm going to bring this a little closer to the camera. But you can see that's this area right here. So the trick with uh, strawberries, especially bare root strawberries, is you don't want to bury the crown below the soil. If you bury the crown below the soil, what happens is the crown will rot and then your strawberry won't make it. And that's very important with bare root strawberries. And uh, I bought about 50 of these cardinal strawberries from Bare Roots and every single one of them has made it so far. I've been absolutely surprised. Uh, even the ones that my dog even got to a little bit. And you can see there, I have a few of these that are a little on the smaller side and my dog actually messed with those a little bit. And they're even still alive. So it's absolutely phenomenal. So. In this series, I hope to I hope to show you guys a little bit about the Cardinal Strawberry variety growing in Texas. And uh, when I get my other variety, I'll I'll go ahead and do a little video on that as well. Take care.